You know, everybody, we've heard this before as parents. I might have even said it once or twice. Put your helmet on when you're going outside to ride your bike or your skateboard. Yeah, but how do you know which helmet is the right one? NBC Charlotte's Carolyn Brooks shows us how to get the right fit. May is National Bike Safety Month, and while riding a bike is a great way for kids to get exercise, thousands of children are hurt in bike crashes each year. But there is a simple way to stop those injuries. It's good to look um, for a helmet that is certified by the Consumer Product Safety Commission. So it'll say uh, CPSC on the inside of the helmet. Okay, um, the helmet also should fit and fit uh, and fit tightly. Dr. Gregory Weaver of Cleveland Clinic Children says the single most effective way to reduce injury and death from a bicycle crash is to wear a helmet. The doctor says a bike helmet should be tight enough so when it's on a child's head, it stays in place and doesn't move around. The helmet should also have a well-fitting chin strap on the bottom. Now, if you notice any visible damage to a helmet, like a crack in the outer casing or a crack on the inside foam, you need to replace it. Also, if that helmet has been involved in a crash or if a child has outgrown it, it's time to get a new one. In addition to the right gear, the doctor says parents need to make sure that older children who may ride unsupervised know the rules of the road, especially if they're going to travel on the street. He says everyone riding a bike should learn to use proper hand signals, stop at stop signs and red lights and use crosswalks appropriately. Dr. Weaver says another key to staying safe while cycling is to know which way to ride on the road. You should be traveling with, not against traffic. So um, it can be very confusing uh, for, uh, for drivers of cars if they see a bike rider coming at them. Uh, and so often we'll think that, gosh, it's maybe better um, to be facing traffic so you can see the car coming towards you. Um, it actually contributes to more injury to be riding against traffic. The doctor says statistics show most bike related injuries happen between dusk and dawn. So parents keep that in mind next time your child wants to ride. Carolyn Bruck, NBC Charlotte.